I'm Amy and I'm making this video because I've had a lot of people quiz me about my Holtzman cosplay that I um, debuted at the London Film and Comic Con. Now, um, I'm not a professional cosplayer in any way, shape or form, but I have been getting some very positive feedback about my Gillian Holtzman cosplay, so I thought I'd uh, dish some of um, my secrets, I guess, to the, the costume that I created. Um, first of all, um, in terms of her accessories, um, I've got her necklace, her screw you necklace, which I made myself. Um, in order to make this, I literally used a screw that I could find anywhere. Um, the circular shape is um, essentially the for rolling pins, and I got them from um, Hobbycraft. So that you put them on rolling pins to measure things out, and it's just really a bendy green circle which I spray painted silver. The U itself is just a bit of wobbler that I had left over and I just cut out a U and then just stuck it all together. Spare chain, glued on, everything spray painted silver and there you go. Screw you necklace. As you can see, it's a bit worn now. The green's starting to show a little bit, but essentially that is it. Okay, very easy to make. As you can see, I look nothing like Holtzman in any way, shape or form. I've got brown eyes, I've got brown hair, so I had to kind of uh, change my look to fit that. And in order to do that, I bought myself a wig. It looks incredibly messy at the moment, but um, very, very good quality. Um, I can't remember the name of the website specifically, but I have put the link to this specific wig into the comments box. So if you are wanting this, then just have a look. Um, I thought I'd take you through what I did to get it there. What you'll need is... Um, some Holtzman goggles. These just came from eBay. Again, I'll put the link in the comments box below. These essentially held down the wig for me because it was a little bit too big and it wasn't staying in place and the, the goggles essentially held it in place completely. So I'll just put that on for you. So I've been using bobby pins to keep my fringe and everything out of the way. So let's move him out of place and then we put the goggles on so that it doesn't get caught on the wig. So as you can see, it's a bit, a little bit of a mess, okay? So don't worry if you put it on and you think, what on earth is this? This is some kind of Johnny Bravo sister thing going on here. Um, what I did was I bought a absolute bucket load of blonde uh, bobby pins so I could just essentially pin it into whatever I want. I did have a little bit of an Egon thing going on from uh, the real Ghostbusters, but I think that's fine. I think that's probably what I'm going for for Holtzman. So what I did was essentially take as much of the wig as I could at the back and I um, used another uh, bobble to kind of put it out of the way. Oh, I can search for one. So just use that and as much of the wig as you can, put it out of the way. Still got bobby pins in from Comic Con. Okay, so as much as we can of the wig. So it's pinned That's it on the bottom. Okay, so it's out the way. Just in like a little little circular thing. I know there's tutorials online for how to do your 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 kind of hair into Holtzman style, so do check those out if you want to do it properly. But really for the wig, all I did was put a little bobble at the bottom because she does kind of have it curled under, so that's what I would do. Um, for the next bit, because she's kind of got like a, a a mohawk thing going on, I took as much of the wig as I could from here, and then twist it and pin it on the top with a bobby pin. And the other side, just twist it up, roll it up so it's almost more he can like. Okay, so at least most of it is out of the way. And this is where your goggles kind of come into place because this is where I use these to kind of help me uh, address this and then style it a little bit more. So if we get the goggles up and out of the way. As you can see it takes a lot of this kind of front uh, fringe bit and gets rid of it so it doesn't look as uh, too distorted. So again, she's got quite a, a back combing thing going so I just took some of the wig, made it look a little bit messier. And then any of these bits that flop over, again just use a bobby pin to kind of put it out of the way. So again, twist this up, pin it in place, and so. Again, I've got brown hair, so I have to make them stuck in there, like that. Um, again, any bits that have fallen down, twist up again. 
one, make sure they are out of the way. So, unfortunately, my <laughs> camera stopped working there after um, I started putting my hair in. Like I say, this wig's really quite thick, so you will have to really pin down the bobby pins or else it starts getting quite big on top. And um, if you had a look at my, some of my Comic Con photos, my uh, hair started falling out the more I kind of played with it um, in Comic Con, so please be warned with that. Um, like I say, that cool myth, stick it down as much as you want, do it, you know, bespoke it as much as you can. The next thing for her was her glasses. She's got quite a unique set of glasses, which you can, you can buy and pre well, you can pre-order now for around $87, which again are in the, the comments box below if you really want to kind of fork out for those ones. Um, what I did was I trolled eBay. Again, it seems to be the haven of all good things for cosplayers. Um, and I came across a selection. The ones I used for Comic Con were these ones. Again, I'll put all links in the comments box below, which I think kind of work, you know, if you want to look, she's, you know, she's essentially a, a big nerd. So having nerd glasses like this um, will work quite well. Um, seemed to help out with my outfit quite a bit, so there you go. Mm -hmm. um, the other kind of ones I bought were the kind of steampunk ones because I had the guards on the side. These ones here, but I tried to get uh, yellow lenses, which I've ordered, but they haven't arrived. If I take these out. Um, you kind of get an idea. They're a little bit big, I think, but they have got the guards on the side if you want to go for that. Yeah, I'm waiting for the, the yellow um, lenses to arrive so I'll let you know when they do and what they look like. Um, tried the John Lennon style. Again, a little bit too small. Didn't quite work uh, to plan. Again, if you wanted to kind of bespoke it and make it your own, then go for it. Um, Aviator glasses as well. I just typed in yellow lens glasses and saw, you know, saw it come up. But again, I don't think it worked all that well. But again, if you want to make it your own, go for it. Um, ones I've ordered recently um, came from Amazon, which I think are the closest probably to what she's got. Um, they are a little bit of a different shape, um, which I think work quite well. Again, I'll put everything in the links below. Fairly affordable, I think it works, um, especially for this outfit. So I think these are the ones I'm wearing uh, in October. But yes, uh, that's her glasses. In terms of makeup, she doesn't really wear all that much. I've noticed that she does have quite pink lips, so Vaseline, petroleum jelly, um, the rosy lips ones. Again, just to give her a little rosy lipped look. She does have eyeliner on as well, um, which I will attempt <laughs> to show you not right now. So I'm gonna have to speed the um the video up because heaven knows how long this is going to take me to do properly. What I've got is Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner which um, takes a very steady hand so I do apologise. Try not to get the wig in the way. Okay so she just kind of has like one line of eyeliner on there so I'll do the other one for you. Stabbed myself in the eye. Hang on. Holtzman do this like every day especially when the sun is blazing through my window but you get a rough idea okay I'll put the glasses back on so you can't see my terrible work okay one line of eyeliner though which is pretty much all of her kind of makeup um right so next I saw you with some accessories okay so a lot of people again have been asking me how I've done my suit well it's just a suit I've got Okay, it's essentially uh, it's essentially an H&M jumpsuit, which I found on eBay, again, thank you eBay. Um, a girl was selling it, I only know that because that's what it says on the label, H&M. So again, an H&M khaki jumpsuit, which fit perfectly fine. Um, and then reflective tape, which also you can get from eBay, surprise. Um, again, everything can be in the comments box, don't worry. Um, yeah, and then I got a silver to charm in a spray. Now, I did order a patch from eBay, but I didn't check the dimensions, so it came and it was awfully small, but it was just iron on. So again, a little patch on there. Just type in ghost butchers, busters? Ghost busters patch, and that's what will come on up. And then again, this is just adhesive, so it just uh, ironed on on there. Um, yeah. Okay, other accessories that she wears. Leather gloves, guess where they got them from eBay. 
Um, again, just typed in kind of leather biker gloves and had a look to see what came up. Ta-da! <laughs> boots, which I just got from Primark and they didn't cost me very much at all, so it's very affordable. Um, to do the kind of guards around them, I know a lot of people are using um, football shin guards, which I do have, but what I bought, <laughs> which I didn't realise what they were, I found them in Sports Direct, and they look like this. Look like they could go around your leg. They're actually for horses. I thought they were for people, and then they're for horses. I can't remember what they're called. Again, it's in the comments box. So, um, I did a bit of extra <laughs> uh, Velcro, because obviously it couldn't fit around my leg, because I'm not a horse. And then I just glued on some of that reflective tape again and it just goes around my leg as you can see in the photos. Um, screw it. If I have to be a horse then so be it. Um, the other thing that people wanted to see was the Proton Pack. So if you come with me, I'm going to stop here and show you. Right, this is my Proton Pack. And I'll show you where I different parts. So this bit here is essentially a toolbox from Homebase. So we just spray painted um, the rest of it black and then used some silver paint to make it look a little bit more worn. Um, just a pipe we found and again this is just yellow masking tape that we drew on with um, permanent marker. These are buttons. As you can see they're starting to wear off. Um, used what they use for like hamster cages and stuff like that um, to make this kind of mesh so, and then just um, bits of metal stuck on and screwed on in every way shape and form. The gun itself is actually my friend Lee's and he used it from his old proton pack. The rest of it, this bit here is actually just a colander that I bought again off Amazon and the bit underneath it is a football from home base. Um, these were just old boxes we found in the shed. Again, adding a metal panel and then made to look worn. Um, this bit on top you can buy again from eBay. Um, I think it's for measuring uh, voltage or something like that and put it inside a warbler box. Plumbing pipes, again, um, screwed on. Hang on, where can I right, see so a screw? There, screwed on. Okay, and then just little bits and wires and whatnot. In the northeast, these bits and pieces actually came from a place called the House of Objects, where they kind of uh, get in um, bits of well everything really pay membership and whatnot a uh, great place to source different pieces and um, that's where we got these from this is just a switch that we found absolutely for no reason whatsoever again just bits and pieces that we we sourced from all over the place just you know as you do show ahead <laughs> which i'll be changing for the next um comic con i have no idea what this is but we found it it looks pretty sweet um wobbler Sorry, this is Warbler, and this is, I don't know, I think I found it on the back of a computer hard drive. Um, and in the inside, again, I have no idea what this is, but we put rope LEDs around there. I think the battery's probably run out by now. Yes, it definitely has. Okay, but essentially that is the Proton Pack um, in all of its glory. And this is just basically just yellow foam drawn on. Okay, so if I go around just so you can see it a little bit more. Da, 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 da. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it get, answers all the questions that you have. If you do have any other questions or comments that you'd like to make, put them in the comment box, send me a message, whatever. Okay, bye.